Testing, testing, one, two, and the trois. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Today, very exciting video, as I'm going to show you how I metamorphosized my wife into a digital metaverse avatar. Not only did I just use my phone, which is an iPhone 7, guys, so you don't need the latest phone. It's super easy. It's free. But I'm also going to show you how you potentially could use your avatar in various different metaverse platforms or VR apps or VR games, whichever you want to call it, because you can upload the creation into those various different places and actually be inside and manipulate your avatar just like you would your real self. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. But first guys, do remember that we are doing a brand new giveaway with the HP Reverb G2, that's right. Sponsored by HP in commemoration of the 10,000 subscribers on the channel, as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, the cyber carpet, the cyber chair, everything that goes with it. And the third winner will get a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against your Oculus MetaQuest store, Viveport, or Steam VR store. Be completely up to you how to spend the money. So do be sure to be part of the notification squad after you subscribe, as you could potentially be notified as the winner. And guys, it's up to you how fast we do the giveaway, of course. Link in the description below, go and click that and go and find out how to register. Of course, it's completely free. All right, guys, so what we're going to do first, I'm going to show you the various different platforms or metaverses or VR apps that are available that you could potentially register for free, of course, where you can upload your avatar and use it. Today, however, we're going to focus on VR chat as to how to import your avatar there. And I'll do subsequent videos, how to upload them on the various different other apps. So do make sure to enable your bell off to subscribe as well for that. All right, first let's transition over and go and check out all these various different metaverses before we hop onto the mobile phone, how to guide and timestamps in the description below guys, as always. So guys, there's a whole heap of different metaverses. Metaverses basically mean that there are various different apps that are available where you can hop inside of virtual reality or some not. And basically you can socialize with different people for different purposes, whether it's for business, to connect with new friends, to trade for NFTs, buy land, all these kind of different things as some of these metaverses are connected to the blockchain and some of them are not. Some of them are used to do concerts and special entertainment kind of things. Others are purely used to go in and just socialize with, whilst as I just mentioned, others are used more to do business connectivity and meetings with your own team. So for example, Decentraland is not connected to VR at the moment. It is not possible to go inside and immerse yourself using a VR device. However, it is considered to be the metaverse because you can trade things, for example, NFTs, buy land and all these kind of things. And it's very popular, especially for example, I think Snoop Doggy Dog or something like that. Some people purchased some land inside already. So, you know, you can go and check it out. And I'm sure that at some point or another, you will also be able to you know, use an immersive VR device inside of Decentraland. Another very popular one is Somnial Space. The graphics have improved tremendously in the last year. It's better known for purchasing land and also goods. And also people are now starting to use it for entertainment purposes. Another extremely popular one that is becoming more and more popular is NEOS because inside of the NEOS, the biggest difference between all the various different platforms. First of all, the graphics are insanely incredible. You will need a PC in order to, and a good PC in order to be able to buffer this one. But the biggest difference is that you can actually uh, create stuff within the platform. You don't have to need to use, for example, Unity or Unreal or anything else outside of it to customize avatars, to customize various different worlds and universes. And also the way the avatar, the avatars look, excuse me, are extremely much more fluid. Just the level of graphics is another level. There is nothing in VR at the moment that compares to this. And there are hundreds of different worlds that you can go and check out. So Neos is definitely the up and coming, I would say, uh, as to what the metaverse is supposed to be in that respect. And then finally, the most popular casual 
platform at the moment is called VRChat. The avatars are not too bad. You can also be pretty much whoever you want to be, whatever you want to be. It doesn't matter, but it is just great fun and is used more for casual gamers, I would say, or casual ways to go online. It's a much more fun way to go inside the metaverse, but VRChat is also used very much by entertainment for entertainment purposes, excuse me. For example, the Venice Film Festival used it, as well as Jean-Michel Jean with the French Ministry of Culture used it for various different concerts. You can also use it on PC or mobile device without having to actually use a VR headset at this moment in time also. But you can also, of course, put on your favorite VR headset and jump inside of VR chat, completely immersed in VR, so it is completely amazing. And then today, just now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create your avatar so that you could potentially connect it to VR chat. And I'm also gonna show you, although I was thinking of doing it today, but I think the video might be long, I will show you how to upload it into Neos in a separate video, I think, depending on how long it goes. So do make sure you watch until the end of the video. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop onto my mobile phone because yes, I use my mobile phone in order to create a metaverse avatar of my wife. Oof, very cool stuff. So let's jump into the phone. Now the first step is basically you need to go to the readyplayer.me's website. All right, so basically when you log into the actual website for the very first time, or when you go to the website, not log in, uh, all you have to do basically before you actually create an account, this you can do later, um, there's two things you can do. So the first thing is you can go on the top right hand side, click on the two bars there and then click on apps. And then you can choose to create an avatar specifically, for example, for VR chat, or you can create an avatar for other apps that you can discover after you log in. Now, let's go the other way because it's a little bit more less obvious as to how to do things uh, in terms of downloading things because not everybody wants to use VR chat, okay? So for example, today we want to use Neos as well. So let's just click on create avatar. And then it's gonna load you to the actual screen. Now, we're gonna use feminine because of course I'm gonna use the picture from my wife. So let's click on feminine. And then it's gonna ask you to take a picture or pick a file now. Generally speaking, it is better to take a photo because apparently you will get about 10% or 15% a better avatar that resembles your real self compared to pick a file according to two friends of mine, but it is possible that at the time of this recording, the algorithm is much better and it doesn't really matter. So let's just click on take a photo first so I can show you the do's and don'ts and then I'll click a pick a file obviously of my wife. So take a photo. So first thing is you want to do is you want to remove any accessories off your face or any jewelry. If you have long hair, just tie it up in a bow and you know, try to make sure that they can see your face as much as possible. The other thing is, is make sure that your background is not busy. For example, you don't want all this kind of stuff in the background. You want it to be clear and you know, just basically a light background or white background if you can. The other thing is make sure that your face is not shadowed, it is clear, and you don't have half the face with lots of light and the other half with no light. So make sure that it is nice and even. The other thing is don't do things like this <laughs> because the software won't pick you up. Just make sure you're like a passport photo, something like that. <laughs> then look at the camera. Don't look down. Don't look to the side. Don't do all this kind of stuff. Just look straight to the camera. And then finally, make sure that you're not taking the picture from here or from here, you know, it's too close. You don't want any distortion on the face. Just make it nice and snug, for example, from here. So once you're ready, then you would click on photo, like so. And then you can decide if you want to use it or retake it. But this would actually be perfectly okay, although there is a little bit too more too much shadow on one side versus the other. So it'd be better to have it a little bit better, but I did do a test and this works absolutely fine. So let's just click on retake. And then we're gonna click on cancel because we want to pick a file of my wife and then later uh, for privacy settings, I can't show you what she looks like in real life, of course. Just go to photo library and then pick the picture that you think would work the best. Of course, you could do different tests. I'm gonna pick this one. And I'm gonna choose and then accept. And then it's just gonna load it up within five to 10 seconds. Now guys, just using the phone, just FYI, 
um, you know, the browser has a tendency to reload, so do be fast when you do this. What you can do is you can pinch, you can hold your, your fingers on the screen, pinch and hold uh, to zoom in and out, or you can swipe. So just keep your phone on, your finger on the phone, and then just go left to right, and then you can see the model in 3D as you want. All right, so the other thing that we can do is we can customize everything, guys. So let's customize the hair very quickly. And then we're going to give her a shorter ponytail. There we go. It's better. It's more like her. Uh, then we're going to go to color on the left-hand side. Swipe all the way to the different color. I'm going to give her some purple. There we go. And then we're going to change the... I'm going to give her some glasses because she likes to wear glasses a lot. There we go. Give her these ones. And then um, maybe these ones. She already has those in other... Oh, maybe these ones. Yeah, there we go. Um, Okay, and then we're going to go to uh, the clothes. Now, of course, depending on your mood or, you know, if you're meeting with your management or you're meeting with your staff or you're meeting with friends or family, then you can change all the different clothes. You can download as many of the avatars that you end up making and then upload them uh, free of charge as many times as you want to use them. And depending on some platforms even, you don't even need to do that. For example, Neos for accessories and things. You could just basically um, you know, import one model and make the changes in the app itself without having to download 20 models every single time. And there we go. So the, uh, the browser just refreshed. So I'm going to have to do this again. So I'll just go back to where we left off. All right, so we're back inside. As you can tell, I'm just going to choose very quickly some clothes for her, which is pretty much, I would say, this one here. Let me just go. And also, of course, depending on the season, if it's winter or summer and all these kind of different things, then, you know, you could dress appropriately. But of course, you'll be able to save the custom file as well and then have a modeler, for example, uh, you know, completely uh, customize absolutely everything for you. There we go. That looks pretty cool, pretty nice as well. And then it just says preparing your avatar. Very simple. So this will take, I don't know, maybe a minute or 30 seconds or something. I'm only using Wi-Fi, guys. Uh, I'm on the 5G network the five gigahertz network, of course. And then, of course, it says uh, anonymous here. Just make sure that these three little dots have finished loading before you do anything next. There we go, there's a nice cool avatar. And then all you have to do is click on claim your avatar. It's gonna ask you to sign in, so just click on sign in. Then create an account with whatever account you want to use. It doesn't matter whatever. Then you click on send activation code. And then just go directly to your email. Go and fetch the activation code. There we go, it will be this one. Just copy it from here. Go back. Paste it in your confirmation box. And then click on login. And then once you log in, you'll see that the avatar you've just created should show up directly normally. Well, this time the recording, of course, the UI might change by the time that you know, you, you're you creating your own thing. Now, what you can do is you can click on share and then it will create a copy a URL and then you can put that on your social media for people to actually see this image only or you can tweet it or download the image, not the avatar, just the image as to what you can see here of this avatar here. So we're gonna close this first. And then you can also, what you can do is you can customize the look again if you're not happy, go back and customize again. Or you can connect to various different apps down here of platforms that you're looking to use. So for, for example, Somniopolis Space is a blockchain uh, place. There's Animes, there's, uh, there's this one, there's Live. If you want to do some uh, recording, Meeting VR, which is a very cool app, uh, SideQuest apps and VR Chat. So obviously we want to do VR Chat right now. And then later we want to do maybe other apps here. So if we click on explore more apps, it's gonna open up another 
uh, another page. And just a side note, guys, that you can also download what's called a GLB file, which is the actual model in 3D itself. So you could give it or pass it to a 3D modeler to actually customize even further your avatar, for example, change any clothes that are not featured as part of the Ready Player me's website whether it's for branding or specific accessories or the entire clothes or change specific aspects of the actual 3d model of the face for example to make it even more uh, look like resemble your real self if you felt that you wanted that additional hyper realism whether it's textures or the size of the nose or the ears or whatever it might be so just thought it would be good for you to know about that. There we go, VR chat, and then we'll go to view app, which will load the actual app itself. Now do make sure you are logged into your VR chat account, guys, or any other account that you know, you're lo looking to load, it'll be much faster. Now as you can see here, it says avatar connected. Of course, if you weren't connected before, then it'll ask you to connect, so you just press on connect. It will take you through a couple screens, and then all you have to do is click on import to VR chat. It will open up another browser. And then all you have to do is just make sure you click on this thing uh, to make sure it's you. And then if it's not you, of course, click on that's not me. So if you click on that's not me, then it will show something else, but we're gonna click on this box. So that's not me is not highlighted or not dimmed down. And then we just click on yes down here. There we go. And now it should load another screen. Let me just click on yes again. There we go. And it says that it's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes and it will appear in the other list in VRChats. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the how-to step-by-step guide as to how I metamorphosized my wife into a digital metaverse avatar where we can upload her in various different places. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, and we're gonna see how it looks like inside of VRChat first. So what you have to do after you've loaded VR chat is go into your settings, then avatar, and then go inside of other folder and you'll see all the various different uh, various avatars that you create in Ready Player Me inside of there. And a reminder that you do need to log in using the VR chat login system and not your Oculus and not your Steam VR because apparently it doesn't work at this moment in time. You will not see your avatars in there. So make sure to log in with the VR chat login system and not Steam or Oculus login things. All right. By the way, if you find that you have difficulty uploading your avatar to VRChat or another app. Here's another tip very quickly. Let's just transition over so I can show you. And we'll go to the website using the actual computer this time. All you have to do is go to my avatars and then you'll see there's a few panels here. So obviously if you click on, for example, here you can download the .jb file that I mentioned earlier. You can change the main identity as well. However, here for the VR chat, for example, all you have to do is click on create new avatar. It will then ask you which avatar you want to upload to VR chat. Now all you have to do is, for example, click on uh, this one here, which is not uploaded yet. And then it says avatar is being connected. This usually takes around five to 10 seconds. You'll see it in your main avatars list as soon as it's completed. And then of course you may have to wait five to 15 minutes for it to actually appear in VR chat. And FYI, you may also have to log out of your VR chat and then log back in in order to see it in the others folder. So just a small tip there. So as you can tell now the avatar, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring up the other uh, panel of NEOS so you can see a side-by-side -side comparison as to how the actual avatars look like. Now in VR chat, you can do so much in there and the graphics look really amazing. But as you can tell, the graphics look a little bit more in 2D-ish, a little bit more cartoony uh, compared to NEOS, although it is in 3D inside of VRChat, of course. But in NEOS, it does take things a little bit further. It looks a little bit more polished, a little bit more in 3D. The immersion is just feels a little bit more hyper-realistic, I would say, even though it still looks very 
polished of course and in neos the biggest difference is you can make changes on the fly if you wanted to customize your avatar a little bit the textures or add some props onto it or all these kind of different things then you could do that in neos on the fly you don't have to export the model and make your changes for example in unity or unreal you could just do it straight inside of neos so that's really what's amazing now guys if you do want your own uh, customized avatar i know a guy so do contact us at the email in the about section of our YouTube channel. He charges from 99 US dollars just for a simple avatar. But of course, if you wanted to be customized and have, you know, specific clothes or whatever, then of course the price goes higher from 500 up to 2000 or whatever amount of dollars. It would be depending on your requirements. But it, if it is something you, that you need done, as I mentioned, do get in touch. We're very happy to connect you, to link you with him by all means, be very happy to do that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I just want to show you a side by side also, uh, you know, with my picture and also the avatar of, you know, that I created of myself. So at least you can see the differences between my picture and the actual avatar. So as you can see it, of course, it doesn't look a hundred percent like me, but it's close enough. It's kind of what I would look like in the real world. And then, as I mentioned before, you can also download the actual GLB file, import into Unity, and then unmap the textures, go into Photoshop or whatever software you use to change the textures. And then you could change the actual logos and all these kind of things on the clothes and all that kind of stuff. So a lot you can do based on this very basic program of Ready Player Me. All right, guys. So remember that you can enter for the brand new HP Reverb D2 giveaway sponsored by HP. So they'll be the ones who send it to you as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, the cyber chair, cyber carpet, sponsored by cyber shoes. So they'll be the ones to send it to you as well. And a third winner who could potentially walk away with a brand, with a voucher, sorry, with 50 US dollars, where you can basically buy any VR game that you want on any platform, whether it's the MetaQuest, SteamVR, or the Viveport store, completely up to you how you want to spend the money. So guys, do go to the link in the description below to enter completely free and read the TNCs as well. And for sure, click on the notification bell after you subscribe also, uh, so that you could potentially be notified as a winner and also be notified of all the other awesome content as we will be doing other how-to videos, how to upload your metaverse avatar in various different apps like Live or Meet in VR or Neos, of course. I'll do a step by step on that as well and all these very different things. All right, guys, I will see you in the comments below and also in another video very soon. So have an amazing Sunday and a wonderful week ahead. See you guys. Take it easy. A bientôt. Au revoir. Ciao. Arrivederci. Arigato gozaimasu. Zai den. Bye.